Hello everyone and welcome back to the Getting Started with Pipedrive video series brought to you by the Marks Group. In this video we are going to be talking about custom fields and how you can add them in Pipedrive. So while Pipedrive is a very straightforward um, and kind of simple but still robust CRM, you can add custom fields. So um, and particularly depending on your um, your plan with Pipedrive, but to go ahead and edit custom fields or add custom fields, we can click our user icon in the upper right corner and then select company settings. And that's gonna open us up into this nice big menu back here. And then we're going to click data fields under company. This brings us to our customized data field section. So um, in this view, um, we have our default fields um, and system fields, which I don't believe we can edit at all. We can just copy the API key from here, um, but system fields just so you can see what they are. Um, and then these default fields, which we can edit whether they're in the detail view and the add view. The detail view is when you open up a record um, and you you know see the detail of that record. And that is what that's referring to. And then the add view is when you click that green button, add person, add deal, add lead, etc. Um, having this check mark in the add view section indicates that that field should be in that you know create new record uh, window quality rules refer to required and important fields so um and i'm just going to pop this little question mark um help thing open so you can see so required fields um, indicate that a field is required. So if you're trying to um, add or move a deal and one of the required fields is empty, it's going to force you to put something in that field before you can move forward. An important field, you can move forward without data in these fields, but it's really not recommended and you will be notified as a user if any important fields are blank um, if you try to move forward without having that information in there and then to make changes to any of these we can just click the dot 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 and then click edit we can't change the name of these default system fields um, but we can change whether they are required or important and then if you click expand here you can actually specify if it's only going to be required after a certain point in the pipeline, um, which is really handy because sometimes, um, let's see, uh, maybe budget, for example, maybe you're not going to have a budget specified in the qualified stage, but maybe um, after demo scheduled or proposal made or something, um, at a later point, the budget will be required. Um, and you will know it by then, so you could have it be required after that certain point. So I think that's a pretty neat feature. And again, like owner, um, the owning user, if we click edit here, we can have it always appear in add lead and add deal views, um, but by default, and I don't think we can change this, it is, yep, it's always visible in the deal detail view. So to add custom fields, we just go ahead and click this green button in the upper right corner. And then we specify whether it's a deal or lead field, a person field, an organization field, or a product field. And that just tells it, um, Pipedrive, which form it should belong in, um, you know, which record type it really pertains to.
Um, so let's just say contact ID. Let's pretend that we have a specific contact ID. We can specify the field type here. So I just want to review these real quick as well. So text can be up to 255 characters, large text. Um, this is also known as multi-line text in different CRMs. Um, this is for text longer than 255 characters, but 255 will get you a lot. Um, that'll get you pretty far. But if you want any sort of note field or, um, you know, yeah, basically anywhere to write um, kinds of notes, definitely use the large text. A single option um, would be preferred contact method, for example, if that were one, and it, the options would be text, email, call. Um, you would only want one single option to be able to be chosen for those multiple options. Um, available contact methods is an example. So if you would be able to contact them or if they will allow you to contact, you know, them by email and phone, um, multiple options would be a good uh, choice here. Um, autocomplete can be up to 255 characters as well, so pretty pretty similar to the text field. Um, and it autofills based on previous input, so this is pretty cool and it will require a little bit of playing with. Um, I have actually not used this too often myself, but um, I think it's very cool that it's an option. So numerical is going to be for, you know, the example they give here is priority levels. Let's see, what's another, um, what's another numerical that's not monetary? Um, gosh, ID number. Um, so for our contact ID, this might be a good option for that. Monetary, um, you know, commission, that's a good example. Um, the revenue or estimated revenue is already going to be on here, so we don't need to create a new field for that. But um, monetary is a uh, definitely a field type worth having on here. User, so if you had reason to include multiple pipe drive users um, on a form, for example, lead source or, um, gosh, uh, you know, referral or pipe drive point of contact, something like that. Um, this would be a good, uh, that would be a good reason to have user on, on a form. Um, or organization, if you needed to, you know, include an additional organization. This is good for like parent organization. If I know sometimes that's applicable. Um, person, if you needed to include another contact or person. Phone, um, this is good for specifically phone numbers um, or Skype names. And I believe that this is formatted so that uh, there is an integrated, um, an integration add-on that you can add that allows you to just click a phone, you know, click the phone number and a call will pop up within Pipedrive. So um, this is handy for that. And it just looks nicer to have the phone formatted all similarly. Times, um, if for when, you know, meeting times, stuff like that. Um, if you had any reason to include time, you can choose it from here, a time range. This is great for, um, you know, preferred contact times, things like that. You could have like, you know, 8 to 11 a.m., 11 to 2 p.m., 2 to 5 p.m., something like that. Um, and then a, a date picker, a date range picker. This is really neat. This is not something I see too frequently. Um, normally it's just a singular date. So I really like that there's a date range option as a field type and then address. Um, 
This is auto completed by Google Maps as you type, so this is really cool as well. So contact ID for our example here, we're just gonna click numerical. We'll say, um, appears in add person view, always visible, and it's not gonna be required or important. So when we add that and we go to our person tab here, we're gonna see it in our custom field section. And then to reorder a field, we can just drag and drop it like this. Or like this. These are, um, this is in the add leader deal view. And then to delete a custom field that you've created, you can just go ahead and click the dot, 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 and then click delete. And once you've created a field, you can click edit to edit the name, the field, oh, I'm sorry. You can edit the name, but you cannot edit the field type once it's been created. You would need to, if you made a mistake or something, you would just need to go ahead and delete the field and start over. So I'm wondering, yeah, if we click this dot, dot, dot in the default field section as well, we can reorder these fields. Um, oh, okay, okay. We can only reorder um, <laughs> custom fields and then the phone and email um, for the at lead and deal views. So this is where you can go ahead and customize data fields. Um, despite Pipedrive being a pretty straightforward, uh, very focused CRM, you can add quite a few data types as custom fields. And I definitely recommend taking a hard look at your organization and determining what would be worthwhile adding as a custom field. And if you need it, go ahead and add it because um, there are some very nice options for, for uh, field types and it would be worth having on there. All right, so if you have any questions about what we've talked about today, go ahead and email me, megan at marksgroup.net. Um, check out our blog for more pipe drive tips and keep watching the videos in this Getting Started with Pipe Drive video series. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you guys next time.